Okay, today we're going to talk about pools popping out of the ground. And this is, uh, I say that this is my favorite myth and lie that to be candid with you drives me absolutely insane. The, uh, the concrete pool guys and the vinyl guys love to say how fiberglass just flat up pop out of the ground. They see it all the time. Um, they can't take you to one, and they can't show you one, but according to them, they see it all the time, and you want to stay way clear of fiberglass. So today, we're going to try to get one to pop out of the ground. What we're looking at here is uh, a scaled version of the Moroccan by Leisure Pools. We have basically simulated our hole. Uh, the Tupperware here represents virgin soil and represents the hole that we dug to set the pool in. We backfilled it with stone, a combination of stone and sand. Frankly, it wouldn't be quite that messy of a, of a material in real life, but whether you've got a, a sand or a stone backfill contractor, stone's better. Uh, the same principles here exist. This is physics 101 and buoyancy. So we've got our pool. Jared, can you zoom in on this? We've got our pool. It's set on a bed, it's backfilled, and it's got water in it. Uh, we're just up above the convenience ledge, and we're going to go ahead and fill up the hole all the way around. This little pipe represents our sump tube, um, which is used to see what groundwater looks like and pump it out if, if one ever needed to. It's just insurance, but we've, we've tried to keep this thing as, as accurate and, and scaled as possible. I'm going to get the hose, we're going we're gonna to raise the groundwater, and if the vinyl guys are right, this thing's going to pop right out of the hole. see the water in there, Jared? Yeah, I guess we can see it pretty well. There it is, right there. Is your side popping out, Jared? Uh, it's negative. Buoyancy is buoyancy. When you've got less water on the inside of a vessel than on the outside, such as a boat, it floats. When you have the same or less water on the outside, it does not float. Vinyl, concrete, fiberglass, a vessel's a vessel. Now the real question is, how do you make a pool pop out of the ground? And you do so simply by having groundwater around the pool and no water in the pool. Why would you need to do that? Why would you need to drain your pool for any reason? Well, a vinyl pool, you would need to drain to change out the liner. Here, can you get this? I mean, we're, we're, we have the same water on the outside of the pool as on the end. In fact, a little bit higher, actually. On a vinyl pool, you're going to drain your pool to change the liner and to redo the floor, particularly if you've got wrinkles, cracks, uh, if any of that structure is, is already collapsed in. In a concrete, you've got to drain it to do a acid wash uh, and a resurface. There's no reason to ever drain a fiberglass pool. Um, with the addition of a sump pit, should that need somehow ever arise, by placing a pump in that hole, you've got access to all of the water in this hole. and so. You could, for whatever reason that would be, there, there are very few situations where you need to drain a fiberglass pool. We did have one uh, a couple years ago. A customer had a house fire. The fire department threw stuff in the pool. You know what? We needed to drain that pool. The sump to allow access to the water around it, and we were able to safely, safely drain that pool. Um, so let's take this one step further. You know what? Maybe the gravel and maybe the backfill is holding this shell, this pool shell, in place. Maybe. Let's do it again this time with no gravel. We'll do water on the outside. It can't be any more 100% ground water than that. We're going to do just water on the outside and water on the inside. Give me just one second. Okay, now what we've got, we, we, we showed that the pool does not float when it's backfilled. Now we've gone a step farther. We've got no soil or gravel around the pool. We've got frankly more than 100% groundwater. The pool is in water. And we've got a water level that sits just above the safety ledge. And the pool is sitting with water just above. Can you get this, Jarrett? Right here, just above the safety ledge. 
the water is equal, the pool is not floating up out of the ground. This is basic physics. Most, most of us have seen this happen with Tupperwares in our kitchen sink. And again, the, the, the driving force behind this rumor is the vinyl pool builders, uh, and frankly concrete, even though they know uh, what floating and popping is, uh, drive this, this lie that fiberglass pops right out of, the, out of the ground, and it simply doesn't happen. Hopefully this has uh, shed some light, and uh, thank you for your time.